Hi everyone, this is Dan Levine from Remax of New England. I'm here with Elaine Evans, who works at Remax Professional Associates in Shrewsbury. Uh, so Elaine and I were just having an awesome conversation about lead street and lead generation. Uh, Elaine, do you mind just telling me a little bit more about that? You said you closed five deals within the past year? I closed about five or six deals. Um, from lead street alone? From lead street alone. And um, all the people were just leads that I got over my phone as a, a text message. And then I would just follow up with those clients, usually through email. I don't usually call them. Sometimes I'll call. I think I called one time one person because they had their phone number there. But all the other people, I emailed them. Hmm. Okay. And how long do you say you've been with Remax? Uh, about two, a little over two years now. Okay, great. Um, and then going back to what you were saying about your follow-up and, and all that, what would you say are good follow-up strategies that you've used um, that have really worked for you in converting the leads? Uh, I think the follow-up strategy is to be quick about the leads. When you receive them, you just have to turn around very quickly and get back to them no matter where you are or what you're doing and just kind of touch that one person. Maybe um, I think one of the things that I do, I always do a quick email, not necessarily a drip campaign. I'll just email them directly. If I have a phone number, sometimes I'll call them, sometimes I don't. Most of the time I don't because I'm doing something else, but I'll email them. And uh, I'll do what I call like three strikes in a route. Um, I try and contact them three times. And um, if they don't respond after the third time, however long that is, it could be two weeks, four weeks, um, then I move on to the next one. So how do you budget your time when it comes to, you know, when, when to you reach out to these people for sh a after strikes one and two, for example? Um, I don't really have a system or a program when it comes to that. Um, so I'd probably be classified as all over the place, but <laughs> all over the place works for me. doesn't work for everybody, but um, I, I just reach out to them when I get them. I don't really have a system that I follow. I mm -hmm. just want to, I probably would stress being quick about it. And what do you say in those emails, when in those initial emails when you reach out to them? Um, depends on what kind of information I have. If I have a listing price, uh, then I'm able to work within those parameters or what they're looking at. I might reference the town or the listing. I look um, in MLS to see if the house is on the market, what the status is, and I kind of, whatever clues I get from the information that's in the computer, that's what I use. Okay, and some of that web activity that's available. Web activity, right. yes. Okay, great. Uh, anything else that, you know, any lasting impressions or something that you would recommend to just the Joe Schmo average agent? Probably not to give up so quickly. Um, when you have, I had a client last year, he ended up buying a house and I was probably his third agent. I probably got him as a reoffer and he said the other agents didn't call him back. So, hmm. I mean, I think you just have to have a little stamina, not just driving him around in the car, but with the, the lead itself, you need to have some stamina and just keep up with it because you never know. He ended up buying something, and he was serious about it. And he was a lead from Lead Street. He was a lead from Lead Street. Wow. And um, so for the agents who always say uh, the leads are weak, the leads are weak, what do you have to say about that? Um, they are what you make them. You never know. Um, I love to chase the $700,000 leads, but the $200,000 leads are, you know, viable too. And um, if you can close one of those... Um, because you heard back from them, as opposed to the $700,000 lead who's busy and you didn't hear back from them. That, that would go into my three strikes in the route, because you have to keep moving, move on. Awesome, awesome. Thanks again, Elaine. Uh, again, Elaine Evans from REMAX Professional Associates in Shrewsbury. Thanks a lot.